If you're going to bow hunt on public ground this year, you've got some important decisions to make about tree stands and ground blinds. A lot of states require that you take your stands out of the field with you every day. And that means you're going to be setting up in the dark and you're going to be tearing down in the dark. And that compounds the challenge of getting in and out of your hunting area without spooking game. If you decide to go with a tree stand, advanced scouting and selecting specific stand locations and even specific trees is extremely important. That way you can get in and get your stand set up without causing a lot of disturbance to your hunting area. A better option might be using a portable ground blind. They're quiet, easy to transport, set up in minutes and are very effective for concealing movement. One of the problems with ground blinds is that if you don't get in and out of there ahead of time, if you can't go in and set it up ahead of time, whitetails might regard it with suspicion. Hey, you're basically rearranging the furniture in their living room. But there are some things you can do to make them blend in better and make them more effective for hunting public ground. Always set up your blind in the shade, downwind from game trails. Most blinds reflect at least some light and getting them out of the direct sunlight helps cut down on their visibility. One of the reasons tree stands are so effective is that you gain elevation, which gives you a better vantage point for spotting game while helping to conceal movement. But if the terrain permits, you can apply this strategy to portable ground blinds. Find a ridge or other high point in the terrain that overlooks a game trail and set up your blind much the same way you'd set up a tree stand. Just be careful that you don't skyline your blind. Always use available cover to conceal and camouflage your blind. Bring a pair of clippers and a saw and use grass and branches to make your blind blend in better with the surrounding vegetation. There are a lot of great hunting opportunities on public land. And the fact that you have to take your tree stand or ground blind out with you each day shouldn't spoil your fun. As long as you take some precautions to get in and out of your hunting area as quietly possible and to blend in as well as you can. I really love early season bow hunting, but with early season bow hunting comes a lot of bugs and biting insects and it just drives you crazy. I'm sure it's the same thing that happens with you. One thing that I've found over the past few years is I've discovered Thermosel. This is called the Outdoor Lantern from Thermosel. They made this for campers, and I tell you what, this is awesome for deer hunting. It's a much bigger unit. It actually has a light built into it, so you can use it as a little lantern as you're, as you're walking, which is cool. What I like about it, it throws a 15-foot radius, and it's so much nicer for having in ground blinds. I could hang this from the top of my ground blind if I wanted to. I just set it on the ground. But what's really nice about it is that Thermosel quality you put the pad in front of there, you just set it on the ground and hunt bug free. Okay, so to turn this one on, it's a little bit different. It's a swiveling switch on the top of the lantern. So I take it from the off position, I put it in the on position, I wait for a couple seconds, and then I just ignite it. Poof, you just heard it go right there. And it's already going. Now, a lot of people ask me, does that have any scent? I don't really smell any scent to the thermosel. I know it has some because it's mimicking this chrysanthemum smell, but I've never had a deer spook with a thermosel. So check them out today, shopdeerhunting.com, and be prepared when bow hunting starts this fall.